Warning, this is an adult-oriented podcast about really perverse things like communication and consent. Bring me what guy will spit it back into your mouth. If you are under 18 and looking for answers to questions about sex or kink, bring me vodka I must spit on the dude bros. Please visit scarletteen.com. For the dude bro listeners, this is nerdy shit. Fuck all the way off. Somebody help that poor submissive. Look, up there in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane? Is that a flogger? Someone's got to be having a good time. As the kink signal shines brightly in the night sky, we know that there is fuckery afoot. What kind of fucking town is this? No worries, as they've listened to the Gotham press beforehand, so all will be safe, sane, and consensual. Well, that's reassuring. Right? Yeah, but what's the Gotham press? What is the Gotham press, you ask? It's about time you tell us, don't you think? Well, I'll let the Cape Crusaders themselves educate you on that. You are now listening to the world-famous Gotham Press Podcast. Gothamites, I'm being whacked. Bye. It shouldn't feel this good. But it's been so long. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, No, listeners, I have not turned into a switch or a masochist. (laughs) But I'm back! Who are you again? Micromanager Lala. Micromanager Lala. Welcome back, Micromanager Lala. Thank you. It has been a while. It's been over a month. It has been over a month. I don't like that. Well, I don't think our listeners like it either. They miss you. Yeah, I got a couple texts. Oh, (laughs) wow. Saying they didn't want to listen if I wasn't going to be on. (gasps) I assured them they should listen and that I would be back. (laughs) I I did. I I assured them they're still good, still listen, and I'll be back. Thanks for keeping us in the black as far as listeners go. Yeah. Yeah. I, I listened. I enjoyed I enjoyed what you guys put out. You you picked up what we put down? I'm always picking up what you were putting down. Well done. I even laughed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're funny. You guys are funny. On occasion. I mean occasionally. <laughs> when you don't try too hard. Try? Do I try? I think so. Mm. Not as much as Greedy tried. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Poor Greedy. Poor Greedy. Yes. Uh, One day, though, he shall return. He shall. One day. And it'll be grand. It'll be glorious, and we're going to have like a whole party with just him. (laughs) (laughs) No, I'm not mean. I'm not mean at all. Sometimes. Oh. Am I giving away your secrets? (laughs) They don't need to know that. They know. They don't know. It's not really a secret. I'm a very nice individual. Thank you very much, Lala. You are. You're very nice. You know who else is nice? Who? Our patrons. Yes. Yes. Thank you, patrons, for sticking with us through this horrible, horrible uh, pandemic of the world. Yeah. It's bad out there. It is. And we understand that you have your option of things to listen to. Don't listen to those other things, though. They're not as good <laughs> as we are. Because we're fun and educational. Fun, educational, and kinky, like you like. Yeah, kinky. I mean, where else are you going to get your kink fix? You can't go out in public and do it. Oh, that is so horrible, too, right? I, it, it really is. But we do appreciate you continuing to contribute to our little podcast so we can keep going. So we can keep bringing you the funny. The funny. The funny. Or the not so funny. <laughs> mm, I'm going to say I'm funny. Wait, not that way. <laughs> <sighs> but also, real quick, if you need to know where to get us, you listener have heard us, but maybe you have a friend. You should show them our show notes so that way they can see everywhere that we are. That's right. Actually, uh, the friend I was talking about before we were recording, mm-hmm. um, she was asking me, hey, where are you guys at? I'm like, we're everywhere. Are you on Spotify? Yeah, we are. Oh, cool. I'll listen then. Oh, good. <laughs> so we got a new one. A new one. A new one. Yeah. Yeah. That's always fun. It is always fun. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, do the game? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? So, awesome. Yes. How are you doing with this isolation thing? Because I haven't really been here to talk to you, so I would like to know for my own self. Um, Honestly, I've been okay. I've been <laughs> telling the story to many people at this point. I'm okay because I'm an only child. I didn't have brothers, sisters, and all that around when I was growing up, so I learned how to entertain myself and be okay with that. I've mostly just been, luckily I'm still able to work, so Mm -hmm. yay for that. Good. 
And that actually helps me keep track of what day it is of the week. <laughs> I have no idea what day it is. Well, I know what today is, but... Now you have the podcast to look forward to, so you'll know what day it is. I know. Well, I was very sad on Wednesday when there wasn't one. Uh, well, yeah. Well, you know, you were busy with Easter and I was busy with not Easter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you were a single child and so you're used to being alone and entertaining your own self. So what have you been doing to entertain yourself? Um, well, my usual go-to uh, description is during the day I work and after work, I either watch movies, shows, or play video games, which I'm going to bring that up later, what video game I have been playing. Oh. Because I've been really, really Was it Is it Animal Crossing? <laughs> <laughs> it is not Animal Crossing. Ah! <laughs> have you been playing Animal Crossing? Um, I don't have a Switch. I want one. But I have been playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp since Bunner introduced it to me. I am level, I don't know, like 69 now. and ha, 69. 69, the best <laughs> level. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Good, yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> so if you get a Switch, you know what your first game has to be. Oh, then. it's the only game that is going to be on my Switch is Animal Crossing. That is the only reason I will purchase it <laughs> is for Animal Crossing. And then, of course, you and Bunner will be... Besties on there, I'm Heck sure. Heck yeah, visiting each other's little village. Yeah. <laughs> island. Oh, it's an island. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually talking to her the other day. I showed her a video. You heard? Have you heard of Honest Trailers? Mm, no. So Honest Trailers is a, a YouTube series where basically you have a voiceover guy that kind of gives the rundown of, a, of either a game or a movie or a show. And it does it in a comical way. Okay. Tom Nook he says pretty much a slave driver. <laughs> oh, on the on the New Horizons? Yes. Oh. Well, on any of the Animal Crossing games. He <laughs> is the one. Not in Pocket Camp. I don't know. I've never played. You just go buy stuff from him. Okay. You, you say that. I mean, that's how I see it. The way that I've been told is in the game, in uh, New Horizons, or in any of the Animal Crossings, you'll say, hey, you know what? This would be nice. Like in game, you'll say it. Uh And then Tom Luke will build said thing for you. And like, okay, you now owe me however many bills. Well, I mean, yeah, he runs a shop. You got to pay. You can't (laughs) just have it. Have it. I think Bunner is in debt like 200,000 bells or something. (laughs) It happens. (laughs) (laughs) I think I'm in debt to the, um, the automobile thing in pocket camp for my leveling up my floors, like three hundred thousand bells jeez oh, it's a loan you just pay a little bit as like as you go you just keep playing the game until you pay it all yeah, i mean i have a million plus bells i could just pay it why, why don't you pay it i don't know it's the last level up and I, i'm sad <laughs> oh you just don't want it to end i don't want it to end i'm sure they will come out with updates for you maybe lala how have you been <clears throat> well my life took a big change a big change? A really big change. I um. You want a million dollars? No, I wish. But I'm not in debt for a million dollars, so that's a plus. That is a plus. That is a plus. So with the whole pandemic thing, um, I got laid off. Oh, no. On the 20th of March. <sighs> and on the 22nd of March, I ended up in the ER. Oh, no. Yes. Girl guts are a thing that have been trying to kill me for 10 years, and they nearly succeeded on the 22nd. Congratulations on surviving. Thank you. I got some new fresh blood in me. <laughs> <laughs> And then um, after a week of testing and EKGs and chest x-rays and all that stuff, they took my uterus. Oh, wow. So I will never (laughs) have Girl Guts try to kill me again. Yay for not killing you. (laughs) (laughs) So um, that's what I have been doing. I've been healing and resting and trying not to push myself too hard because that's what I do. I can't just sit still. Um, You need to learn how to do that. I need to learn how to do that. I can Um, teach you the ways of being lazy. (laughs) Yesterday I went hiking and I shouldn't have done that. You should not have done that. (laughs) Feeling it a little bit today. Why would you go hiking? (laughs) It was a beautiful day and I was with like my isolation friends and the wildflowers were out and it was... Uh, Hold on, hold on. (laughs) Your isolation friend? Right. So I have um, this theory (laughs) that it's okay if, if you have friends that are isolating as well. You know that they're healthy. You know that they're safe. They're wearing their masks, their gloves, they're sanitizing everything, which is what I'm doing. So... I feel safe with them. Okay. Um, My sister's going through chemo. She's hardcore sanitizing and staying safe because she can't get it. Right. Um, So I have this little triangle of isolation friends. So I'll go to my sister's and visit with her. 
mm-hmm. and then I'll go up to Tehachapi, up in the mountain region, mm-hmm. um, and visit with those friends because they're in the mountain. Where are they going to go? <laughs> you know, they're isolating. They're going to go up. <laughs> right? So we went up there because um, that's where we feel safe. Speaking of sister, she's trying to call me right now. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Uh, so we were up there, it was real drizzly and rainy, and then the sun came out and we were like, let's go for a walk. And that walk ended up... Being a hike. Being a hike. And we were already at 5,000 elevation, and then we hiked up a hill. (laughs) So... um, Did you enjoy the hike? I did. I did, until my body was like... You enjoyed the hike until you couldn't enjoy it anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's okay. Listeners, you can't see, I'm just like... He's shaking his head at me. I shouldn't have done it. I don't regret it, and I would probably do it again. <laughs> well, fine. I know. As long as you survive. I did. I That's survived. the important thing. Yeah. You survive every time. Every time. Every time. But mostly, um, I'm pretty much addicted to Disney Plus right now. I watched all three Cinderella's. Oh, I don't know if you know there's three. I think somewhere in the back of my mind I knew that. Yeah. I think two and three should have been switched. Okay. Because in number, t- in number three, the stepmom is a horrible hag, and she's super bad um and anastasia one of the daughters is bad okay but in number two what do you call it when you're messing up someone's picture like uh when you're messing up someone's picture yeah like i'm gonna tell you spoiler 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 spoiler, spoiler. (laughs) um in number two cinderella helps anastasia get together with the baker (laughs) okay but that should have been number three because that was should have been after the bad 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 but then that makes sense so if cinderella helped anastasia in the second one then why would Anastasia then be bad again in the third one? It doesn't make sense. I have no rifle idea. But they're good. I enjoyed them. Yeah. Well, my thing with Disney Plus, I've honestly been waiting and waiting and waiting for Rise of Skywalker to show up on there mm. so I can watch that. Mm-hmm. I saw that they put Onward on there, which came out much, much more recently. Is that a Star Wars thing? No, that's a Disney cartoon. Onward? Onward. That's, that one just came out. Is that about the trolls? Yes. Oh, okay. I want to say that one just came out, what, a month ago? Yeah. And it's on there. Yeah. Why don't I have my Rise of Skywalker? Well, and I'm feeling the same way because the Cinderella Live, which is what I really want to watch, it's not even released until September. Really? What the heck? That was put out like years ago. That. Wasn't it? Yeah. That's strange. That's dumb. I think, I think that was put out in 2015. I want to say that came out the year I moved here. <laughs> and I haven't seen it and I want to. I had to wait till September. That's... That's shitty. Yeah. So, um, listeners, if you know of Cinderella Live <laughs> somewhere else <laughs> that I can watch it, please call Candy Sweetbox. <laughs> Do you remember the number to Candy um, Sweetbox? Um, area code 805 303. Wait, 805? 805? 805. Ah! 805-303-1173. <laughs> well done. Well done indeed. Thanks. Yes, listeners, we miss you all. We really, really, really would love to hear your voices with a voicemail or just a text to candy sweet box just so that we know that you're out there and you're safe you know what send us a message to let us know hey you're safe hey you know what there's also a comment section on whatever pod listener you're listening to yes you can do that like after the podcast say hey you guys suck i don't <laughs> i don't agree with that or whatever you know just let us negative but positive we don't care <laughs> just let us know we, you're out there <laughs> actually here's the super funny thing huh Um, I was checking on our YouTube page Mm -hmm. earlier today and we've been getting comments on there apparently. Oh yeah. We had at least four or five comments basically saying, Hey, this is great. Hey, keep up the good work. I was like, Oh, Oh, made me smile a little bit. That's great. You know, I only listen on Podbean, So, um, there's very little comments on there. Right. But what I'm saying is we need to, or I say we, I need to pay more attention to all of our social media stuff that we are on so I can see what people are saying. Yes, you should. Yes, I should. And you should take pictures of it and send it to me so I can see it too. <laughs> <laughs> I could just tell you to go check it yourself. I don't know how. Not tech savvy. Look, I'm you know what else I'm not? What are you not? This is very random. Go for it. I am not a Ned Flanders fan. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that you know who Ned Flanders is surprises me, honestly. I don't know who he is. <laughs> You've never watched The Simpsons? I have, but I don't know. I, I Oakley had to, Oakley. Yeah, I had to look it up. Yeah, his neighbor. His neighbor that is... It's like Christian or something, right? Christian would be the light version of what he is. Oh, the light version? Yes, he is 
de- like super duper devout. Of what? Of, of Christianity. Oh, okay. But yeah, when the when the show first started, I remember his character. Every time he's on screen, it's like everything is a Bible, something Bible related, or you know, the Lord will save us and all this. After his wife died, eventually, uh, yes, yes, I know spoilers, but it was years ago. That would make me crazy. He got a bit better. I don't like religion being forced in my head, especially in a, a TV show, a cartoon, or driving behind a car and it has like Bible verses on the back of the car and you have to read it. I hate that more than anything. You realize you don't have to read. Oh, when it's in your face and it's giant spread across the window, oh. you have to read it because there's nothing else to look at when you're in a stoplight. True, I guess. Well, you can look at the light. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, Ned Flanders. <laughs> Ned Flanders. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> This is a story that I found, um, what, a week ago, I want to say? Um, yeah, last week. Sorry about not having an episode last week. We were busy. Life. <laughs> Life. There is a Ned Flanders metal band. They call it Nettle. Yep. <laughs> You're shaking your head I at did me because I looked at the I looked at the article, and it had two videos on it, and I played about 3.5 seconds of each video, and I was like, I'm out. The, these are not your type of music. <laughs> not my type. <laughs> See, this was a story that um, if Greedy weren't on hiatus, would love to just delve into, I'm sure. Oh, he would be like rubbing his leg, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, his leg. <laughs> that's what he would be <laughs> Now, next time I see him, I need to make fun. I was like, so have you been rubbing yourself to Ned Flanders lately? <laughs> so bad. It's hilarious, though. Oh, uh, if okay, if if you guys don't know what we're talking about, definitely look up the nettle. What is it called again? The name of the band is Oakley Adokley, which is a common phrase said by Ned Flanders. Right, and so you're thinking it's going to be not heavy metal. You're thinking it's going to be kind of funny and uh, enjoyable, maybe awkward. It's still it's still funny. It's just super heavy metal funny. The thing is, though. The few seconds that I did try to listen to it, I couldn't understand a word they were saying. The, the second song, I could a little bit, but still, the music in the background, I was like, I can't. My understanding of metal is very limited. I'm not a huge fan of it. But those people that are fans, they understand every word that's going oh, through. Oh, I'm sure they do. It's that low, raspy, screaming, like, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I do love the fact that they all dress up as Ned Flanders, though. Yes, that is great. Oh, and then, of course, the fact that The Simpsons, the actual show, had them on an episode. Right, and in the article, they were talking about how they were afraid that The Simpsons would, the lawyers would be... Well, come get them and, like, stop. Come and get them and, like, stop and desist. (laughs) Cease and desist. See, whatever. (laughs) The Gothamites know me. They know what I'm talking about. Gotham Ice, if you think you know what Lala's talking about, go ahead and hit us up on at Candy Sweet Box. So that, that way we can know what you do know. Right. Yeah. You you know my language. I'm not good with words. You just gotta read between my lines. It's all good. Okay, I was going somewhere else with that in my head. Never mind. Where were you going, dirty bird? Shh. Shh. Anyway. Hey. <sighs> yes, nettle. You know what? Hmm. It's not for me, but I can definitely understand. How that will be entertaining to many. Yeah. And then I'm just thinking of actual Ned Flanders on the show trying to join a metal band. Oh, God. a metal Christian band. They need to have oh. that as an episode for him. There probably is a metal Christian band. I'm oh. sure, no, no. I'm 99% sure there are metal Christian bands. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying on the show. Oh, he oh needs having to jo- him join one? Yes. Oh. Isn't he old, though? Mm. Mm-hmm. So is Greedy. You think Greedy's old? Then I'm ancient. I never said you're ancient. Um, Shh. Young lady. <laughs> young lady. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, I know you've been busy with things, with life and recovery. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not sure if you're aware. What? Things have not been happening here at all. I am very aware. There have been no parties. Nothing. No, the, the closest we've had is when I had, was having people actually come here to guest. Yeah. And even then, it's like... <gasps> But that, but that was like you. two weeks ago, right? Yeah, that was two weeks ago. And yeah, and since, or longer than that? No, it was two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was two weeks. But the important thing about this is that um, there are ways, and I found them. The internet. 
I am so not techie. <laughs> like literally Gothamites, when he wants me to do something on my phone, I just hand it to him. He knows my password. He knows <laughs> he can get in there and do what he needs to do. I probably should remember that, shouldn't I? You. <laughs> I know, I do. <laughs> it's the easiest password in the world. I say, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, um, Zoom meetings and things of that nature. Now, Zoom is kind of hit or miss for a lot of people because when they first came out, they were very, very easily hackable, apparently. Like people would, and I think we talked about this on another, on another episode, how people would just kind of sneak into a Zoom meeting and post up just random porn pictures. I on heard it. like, it's like elementary school kids were on a yeah. Zoom meeting and someone started putting naughty photos. Yes. That's not cool. They're horrible for That's that. That's not cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I have not done any Zooms. I don't know how. I haven't like loaded a Zoom I, no, thing. No, I just like how you phrase it. I haven't done any Zooms. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, well, I just made it plural. <laughs> yes. I haven't done any Zooms. <laughs> like people say texts. It's not texts. It's text. Text, text is plural for texts. Text. <laughs> So, but Zoom, Zooms. Yes. Well, the reason I bring it back up is I was having the thought after the whole pandemic is over and people are able to go out and be social again, will this still be a thing? I think it will still be a thing simply because when um, the government says, okay, resume life, I personally would like to spend another two weeks in quarantine. Just to be on the safe side. Right. Because everyone's going to be like cluster f- <laughs> fucking <laughs> probably like. Oh, the orgy <laughs> and the swinging communities will just I, die right. Right. In. And then, and then what? They're going to infect each. I, I don't know. We just don't know. We have no idea. But my thought is this is showing a different way to do things now. It be- I don't think that is just going to completely go away if it does. Mm hmm. I'm thinking it will be augmented a little bit to be like, hey, this event worked for this, for Zoom. Like, um, I forget who it was. Somebody was commenting on a Zoom meeting that, hey, I can attend this event because they have social anxiety. Mm-hmm. And so now this is something that they can do from the comfort of their home and still interact and get the education that they were looking for. Well, and I know that other communities are posting on the Bakersfield Munch Group mm-hmm. <clears throat> about their Zoom meetings and so why wouldn't you keep doing it because bakersfield can then attend fresno events without having to drive two and a half hours right or la or whatever speaking of the fresno event i wanted to attend their munch and i 100 percent planned on it but i forgot that they put on that thing that they were locking it after 10 minutes and so i got i went to jump in at like 7 30 and it was locked already. Oh, was that a Zoom a yeah. Zoom munch? Yeah, a Zoom munch. How many people can be on a Zoom? Well, it depends. If you have the free version, I think you're limited to like 20. But if you have the paid one, you can just have as many as you want, I believe. Oh. Yeah. And is it just like the Brady Bunch squares where there's pictures of everybody that's in there? Pretty much, which I'm, I'm glad you said that. I was in a Zoom meeting and the whole time I was... Like, okay, we have five, we have six, we have seven. Come on, two more, and we'll have the Brady Bunch here. <laughs> and I made that comment to somebody, and then looking at people, the reaction of your comments, it's kind of scary sometimes. It's like, yeah, be our Brady Bunch, and they look just kind of, huh? Oh, because they're they, young and don't know what the Brady Bunch is? Pretty much. <laughs> so sad. And then I suddenly <laughs> like, oh, Oh, my age. Well, it hurts. Being an only child, I'm sure television was part of your entertainment. Oh, yeah, definitely. And and mine, too. I had three brothers, but they were brothers. (laughs) So I watched a lot of TV, too. Yeah. And Brady Bunch was one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, no. Because if people ask about my my viewing habits as when I was younger, Nick at Night was a thing. So it was Dobie Gillis. It was Nick at Night for you, but it was Nickelodeon for me, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> first releases. <laughs> <laughs> but still, what I'm saying is, I have the knowledge of some of those older shows. Yeah, still. I understand what you're saying. I'm just teasing you. That's okay. I'm not sure if you're teasing me, really. <laughs> I'm putting myself down. I don't know. Showing my age. I would never say that <laughs> ever, ever say that. Oh, that's all right. You can. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Uh, I th- well, hey, you just went on a hike. 
last time I went on a hike was years ago and I still hurt from it. <laughs> you still hurt from the hike that you went on years ago? Mentally. Oh. Mentally. <laughs> I, I love to hike. You know, um, you know that uh, I went to Peru and I hiked uh, a mountain above Machu Picchu. I can't remember what it's called at the moment, but it's a mountain. It's a mountain above Machu Picchu, which is already really high. And uh, it's all staircase. The Incas were crazy for stairs. I mean, make it easy to climb. A really long time, but it was amazing. Maybe I'll post a picture. You know what? Hmm. We're going to change you from micromanager Lala to stairmaster. Stairmaster, no. Stairmaster Lala. Although, although it was really good training because then the following year we went to Japan, and Japan likes their stairs too. So <laughs> you didn't realize you were training until you. I did you, not realize I was training. Re- until you got there. And now I don't I don't get scared at stairs anymore, so it's all good. <laughs> you got scared of stairs? No. But you know, your legs start to shake before you even start climbing them. After. Uh, yeah. yeah. I get that. I don't like elevators, so I always took stairs anyways, but I'm claustrophobic. Oh. Mm-hmm. Good to know. Yeah, which makes mask wearing difficult, except that I'm in the dental field, so I help with um, surgery, so I have to wear a mask. So you, you wear a mask for work all the time, so you're used to it I now. do, except that in the medical field... You're concentrating on taking care of a patient. Mm-hmm. You're not thinking about the mask. But when I'm out at the grocery store, all I can think about is the mask and trying to breathe. <laughs> it's horrible. I forget who I was talking to now, but somebody was saying about how <laughs> there was a woman at a grocery store who, because initially it wasn't you had to wear a mask at a grocery store. Mm-hmm. You just were suggested to wear one right but now some are saying hey you have to have a mask on to come in here they won't let you in a woman came to the grocery store and didn't have a mask and whoever the cop security guard whatever stopped her said you can't come in you can't come in you can't come in mm-hmm. and somebody that was close enough to the door said, just made a joke about well you got a bra use that she literally lifted her shirt took off her bra put it on there's my mask <laughs> OMG. <laughs> he let her in. Seriously. Let's talk about masks for a minute. Yes. I know that you have a, something else no, you want to talk about. Go but, for it. Um, so people, when you're wearing a mask, it has to go over your nose and your mouth yeah. at the same time. Mm-hmm. So many people I see just have it over their mouth or above their mouth and just over their nose or under their chin. And it's, that's not effective. That that's not, not effective going to at help all. you. Also, if you're wearing a paper grade medical mask, those are great. You can reuse them. But if you sneeze or cough in it, throw it away and get a new one. Because as soon as it's moist, it loses the barrier. Oh. So just w- FYI. Was not aware of that. Yes. Now, if you're wearing an N95, I think it's different because they're a thicker. Thicker grade. A thicker grade, yeah. Um, I'd still want to disinfect it if you sneeze or cough in it. But um, I don't really know. I don't really know that mask. Okay. But just the general paper one, you know, the little xylophone one. That one, if you if you get it wet, forget it. Just toss it and get a new one. Just toss it, be done with it. Start all over again. Right. And then the masks that people are wearing, I'm not sure you're aware, they should be four layers. Four layers? Four layers thick. Oh. Because if it's just one layer or two layers, particles can still get in and out. Yeah. To my understanding, as far as the masks are concerned... So on an earlier episode, I was talking about how I got a mask from someone and the mask itself. I haven't checked to see how thick of thick of a mask it is, but something that I was reading on was saying basically the mask, even if they're not that medical grade mask, mm-hmm. they may not just be for protecting you. Like people that wear masks, sometimes the COVID uh, virus will still get through. Mm-hmm. But if you have it or if you know you're infected, that mask will prevent it from getting out That's true. to others. That's true. So you're not wearing a mask to protect yourself a lot of times for some of these homemade ones, mm-hmm. but you are wearing it to protect other people around you. That's true. That is very true. That's even in the medical field. When we're wearing those masks in surgery, mm-hmm. it's not to protect ourselves from the germs that we may get from the patient. It's to keep our germs enclosed so that the patient doesn't so that you don't get kill somebody. what we might get or what we might have. Yeah. So masks um i've seen people like cut sleeves off t-shirts and just <laughs> throw that around their face hey you know what you, you do what you can with what you got it's something it's better than nothing it is better than nothing mm-hmm. but let's move on to something more fun like 
Like video games? Well, yes, like video games and not Animal Crossing. <laughs> and not Let's Animal talk about Crossing. something a little more educational or more no. intense. Not educational. <laughs> is, is it intense? Tell me. So this, <laughs> the game I've been playing, it's been Final Fantasy VII Remake. Final Fantasy VII originally came out in 1997. I have been, I have played through that game multiple times over the years. I, I enjoy it that much. Is that, a, is that a game that you play and play until you finish it? Yeah, it, it's a oh, okay. it's an it's a role playing game. It actually has an ending. Okay. Yeah, and it's again one of those beautiful games. I remember when I first played it, when I first got to the end of it, which that time I beat it was kind of crap because I was kind of sneaking to play it on my cousin's PlayStation <laughs> at the time. Mm-hmm. So I beat the last boss and I'm like, okay, cool, I beat it, and I turned it off. Now realizing, oh wait, there's a whole end scene after this. To watch. Okay. So, because again, I was younger and I didn't really know role playing games like that. Mm-hmm. I just knew my fighting games, my action games. So it was like, hey, you you beat it, congratulations, you are the winner, and that's it. So, is that a single player game, or do other single people player. join you? It's single player. Okay. Now, again, like I said, this game came out in ninety seven originally. Mm-hmm. I put in a lot of hours to it just to beat it that first time. Wait, how old were you in ninety seven? 97, I would have been 15? No. 16? No. 14, 15, no. 14 or 15? 97. 97. I was born in 82. Oh, my math is bad. Go it, ahead. It's continue. okay. It's okay. I can math. I can, I can has maths. Uh, yeah, I would have been either 14 or 15. Okay. So play the game. Enjoy the game. It's great. The remake, the original game, like I said, was probably around 60 to 80 hours total if you try to do everything in there mm-hmm. to the max. Mm-hmm. I put in over 60 hours on this game, and it's not even the entire game. Spoilers, kids. It's only the first part. Oh, and it's a remake. It's a remake, but they've added in so much extra stuff. Because in the original game, you go through your... When you're initially starting, you're part of this eco-liberation group. They're trying to save the planet. Mm -hmm. They've been branded as terrorists. You're just a mercenary. You're hired help. Okay. Okay. So you go through and you're, you're doing like a bombing mission at a, at a reactor to say, hey, stop this. It's hurting the planet sort of thing. In the, first, in the original game, that's a quick, you know, maybe hour sort of thing to do. In this one, though, oh, God, they've got so many extra scenes, extra content. There are characters in the, in the original game that, okay, cool. That's a nice, cool character. In this one, you get backstories and extra stuff on this, like, Damn it, now I actually care about this character, even though I already know what's going to happen to this character. So, would you say the remake is, um, like, the first part, as you said, there's more from the first part, is just the 97 release? Oh, this, dear, this is, okay. <laughs> dear God. I, I'm, try, I'm trying to think <laughs> the best so way. so much. To, I'm trying to think the best way to describe it. As far as the remake is concerned, it's got a lot more, and I enjoy it. I know where things are going, but even if I know where things are going, there's more to it now. There's, hey, there's a certain section where you go into this part of the town where you have like maybe a half hour, hour mission to do. Now it's go here, help these extra people as well, and then go on to the main mission. In the original game, you have to do, there's a scene where you have to cross dress. Okay. You just have to go and beat certain things to get the parts for your outfit. In this one though, it's, hey, you have to go beat these things. Also, you have to convince these other people that you are good enough to cross-dress with them. <laughs> There's a whole dance scene that you have to do. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> which was great. It's just pretty much a button, a timing button press thing. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I would sh- I would love to show you at some point. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's fun. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it out there. I have not completely beaten it yet i'm at the end of it which the really funny part in the original game there's a boss fight and you beat the boss and then you make your way out of where you're at in this you i beat that boss Mm -hmm. and then it switches over to the other characters that you have to go through the parts that they're going through now and all this extra like oh wow i never even thought about what were the other characters doing while i was doing this right so it's like 
Hey. So has the story changed or or not changed, just added to? Added to. So the story is the same all the way. It's the, just they added a lot of extra. The, the, the main beats of the story are the same. Okay. The main beats are the same. There was a scene where a character got stabbed in the new one that did not happen in the original. And it's like, <gasps> there's a scene with a character who in the original one just flat out got killed at a certain point. And they, you saw that scene happen. But then you find out later that they were injured, but they didn't actually die, which they didn't go into in the original game. Okay. So it's just all this amazing extra stuff that I'm really enjoying. Do you get emotionally involved in the characters? I mean, yes, but I've had that emotional involvement for years now from the original. <laughs> but do you like get like, does your chest get tight? Like when someone dies or is really critically injured or. So let, let me tell you this. And this is a very common thing. This happened in the original game 20 years ago, okay. over 20 years ago. So everyone knows this. Uh-huh. One of the main characters that you go with uh, in, ends up getting killed. Okay. And that was one of the first times in video games where a main character got killed and there was no bringing this character back. It was just, you are going through like your, that character had left her party for a little while already and you were going to go find them. Uh-huh. And then you find them. It's like, Oh, Hey, there they go. And then the big bad just appears out of nowhere. It just stabs to kill. It's like, wait, wait, hold on. Okay. We got to beat you real quick. So we can bring them back. Why, why, why can't I bring them back? Why, why is it going through this full motion scene? Why are you, why are you putting them the rest? What? What? No! Did no. you cry? I didn't cry so much as I was angry. Oh. I was angry because the, in role-playing games, you put in a lot of work to your characters to make sure that they are up to the task of making it all the way through the game. Mm-hmm. And I put in so much work with this character. And there's actually a whole scene, which I can't wait for the next part, part to come out, where you go to this um, thing, kind of like a Vegas sort of thing. Okay. And you go on a date with this character. Okay. Well, you have an option of going on a date with this character. There are three characters you have an option of. Anyway, you go on a date with this character, and they talk about you know how they're enjoying it, how nice you are, all this stuff. It's like, okay, they're really building up this relationship with this character, mm-hmm. and then you're dead. Wait, you're dead? No, no. Or the, that character? That, that character's the dead. The date. Your date is dead. That character's dead at, you know, later on. But still, it's like you, you built up all this stuff. It's like, hey, I really have, you know... I don't have a personal emotional connection to this character, but as far as this game is concerned, I'm enjoying this. Right. I want. I can't wait to see how this goes. Oh, it's not going to go anywhere. Exactly. <laughs> and you, you fight. Let me rephrase that. Internally, I felt like, no, this can't be right. There has to be a way. Uh huh. No, no, that they wouldn't do wait, that. Wait, can you go back and tr- retry the scene? No. To change it? No. Oh. There is no change. This is part of the game. Oh, see, I would probably cry. See, like, you know how you know how you have those movies where you have the the quote unquote um, nice, friendly old person that dies to push the story along. Mm-hmm. This is that. But this is not just a side character. This is a main character that you put in time with. Right. That's crazy. And it's like, no, they're, they're pushing the boundaries. <laughs> well, they they did. Nowadays, it's kind of like, like I'm waiting for that scene to, to come up in this remake. Uh-huh. And. Even though I know it's coming, I'm still kind of got that feeling like, mm. yeah, that's, exactly. That's cute. Awesome. Hey, I, I try to be. Getting emotionally <laughs> attached to your little. To video games. Video game characters. I do. I do. It's <laughs> okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. You're done. I, 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 I've, I've taken up enough time talking about Final I Fantasy. I found it interesting because I love role playing. Okay. As you know, because D&D. Yes. Um, and I played WoW. Okay. I, I made it to like level 79. You made it? And then I quit. I think I made that it was... to 81 or... No, no, not even 80. I made it to 61 or 2 and then I was done. Yeah. At the time, 80 was the highest. Yeah. And yeah, I was spending way too much on my couch. Oh, Time yeah. on my couch. So yeah, yeah I just stopped. And I think I've told you before about uh, my old roommate when WoW was really, really big in his heyday. I had stopped playing WoW for a little bit. But I still had my account, and I knew I was going to go back. But I would see him every day when I get home, and he'd be playing over and over the same missions, doing dailies. Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, "But what else?" No, I just did my dailies. I had to get my dailies in. I just had to get my dailies in. I had to get my dailies in. Ugh. And it's like, "Oh no, I don't want that to be me." Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. 
if I were going to like be a part of a group or something like that, mm-hmm. you know, hey, we're doing this thing right. and I'm having that social interaction. Great. Not just, hey, I need to go do my dailies. I need yeah. to go do my dailies. I was in a group, so I had, we did things. Yeah, you I had. I mean, we went on missions and did stuff. Yeah. And it was fun. And even if it's a daily mission sort of thing, if it's with a group, it's it's still you a little bit more You get the social aspect. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe I'm just weird like that. May I, look, maybe the game wasn't for me. I'm if too social. If you're weird, then I'm weird because <laughs> we were in the same boat, basically. Yay, weird friends. <laughs> Yay. I did love the Easter one, though, where you had to run around and pick up eggs. Oh. I loved that because I love to find treasure. That's like my biggest, this, like on Animal Crossing, you have yeah. to run around and cut, collect bugs and fish and, and it's fun to me. Actually, uh, I'm glad you brought that up. I was talking to Bunner about the... Hi, Bunner. I miss you. (laughs) Okay, sorry. You're fine. I was talking to her about the Easter event on uh, New Horizons. Mm -hmm. And apparently, like, because I read an article saying that they, like, Nintendo had to send out an update to change something because people were getting too many eggs. They were running out of space to put all these things. Mm -hmm. And so I talked to her after the fact. She's like, yeah. I've got all these eggs. I got nothing to do with them. I was like, sorry. Yeah. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> nothing that can be done with there. Oops. Uh, yeah. And like um, Zelda. Oh, yeah. Running around correct, collecting rupees. Mm-hmm. Now, this is old time Zelda. I don't know if they still do that. But they, they, they do. That was my favorite thing. You, you need to talk to Bunner about Zelda. Why? Because she loves Zelda. Oh, well, I don't. I don't. You don't game? <sighs> I don't. That's okay. You know why the controllers these days have too many buttons and knobs and <laughs> whistles and I'm so... I don't think they have whistles. <laughs> my my boys tried to teach me how to play um, Minecraft. Oh my God. And they just sat there and laughed at me hysterically because even just trying to get the the view of the, the my character's eyes, whatever, uh-huh. I, was, I was a mess. And they just laugh and laugh and laugh. And I got so frustrated. I can understand that. There's too many buttons. Yeah. And my thing is this. Like, I've done that before trying to teach people a game. Mm-hmm. Laughing at someone as they're messing up does not help them want to learn more. Okay, but these were teenage boys. Yeah. And yeah, that's that's your problem. You want with teenagers. <laughs> but they know more than me. And, and I'm okay with that. And they weren't mean. It was just, that. that's for them. They were just like, mom, can't do it. You know, just being silly. Mm. It wasn't hurtful. Okay. No, it wasn't hurtful at all. It's okay, Lala. My kids love me. It's okay, Lala. Hey, you know what I did? What? This is so random. I made bread for the very, very, very first time. You made bread? I made bread. Like flour, yeast, all the things. I made it from scratch. Wow. And it was yum. <laughs> Except that now there's a shortage of yeast in the world. Um, I tried to order some on Amazon and it wasn't going to get here until like May 17th. Wow. So I canceled that order and found it on Etsy. And it's going to be here like Monday or Tuesday. So I can make more bread. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'm huh. glad you're ordering things instead of just going out to, to get it. Well, I did try. I looked at... Um, well, my son went out and looked at Food Max, and then I went out and looked at Albertsons because we had to go get groceries anyways. Mm-hmm. You know, produce. Produce. Um, yeah, but everybody's out. Target's out. Everybody's yep. out. Everybody's out. Yeah. Well, you know why everybody's out? Why? Because people aren't flattening the curve. They're not staying home. They're not staying home. And, and if I... they are staying home, they, they're going out to the store and buying everything. It's like, okay, and I'm just going to hoard everything here. It's horrible. Um, yeah, because even just, I feel guilty just going to go get the things I need, you know? I don't feel guilty so much as, hey, this is something that I need to do. I feel bad for the workers. Oh, yeah. But they're all usually pretty pleasant to me, but maybe it's because I'm pleasant to them. Mm. Well, yeah, that you give what you put out. Yeah. Something that I have noticed, because I have gone out to like maybe get some fast food or something like that. Mm-hmm. A lot of places, they've been putting in new stuff at the stores to keep their people safe. Like if you go to Walmart now, they have uh, the uh, plastic clear shields. I yes, yes, I've seen that. Yeah. I went to uh, Jack in the Box the other day and they have a plastic shield over the um, window for the drive through. Okay. Like below their neck, you can get, you know, like so I can reach out to hand you your stuff, but it's a glass shield otherwise. Yeah. Albertson's just put in glass shields like right at the where you put in your card. Where they would talk to you. Yeah. Um, I know I went to a, a place 
where they literally just normally they would take your card to run in and all that. They put out the card machine, like mm-hmm. they hand it out. Here, just put your card in there. Mm-hmm. They let it run, then they hand it back to you. Mm-hmm. And um, oh, what was the other? Well, you know, Starbucks has been doing that for a while because I- they got they got reprimanded for supposedly stealing credit card numbers by taking the card and running it inside the window. Oh, I was not aware of that. Ridiculous. This was a couple of years ago. So they've been handing that card machine out for a while. Yeah, this shows you how often I've gone to <laughs> Starbucks. Well, I'm not going to go to Starbucks anymore because I just read, and this may be factual or not, that Starbucks is getting their coffee now from China. They are they are going to the China route to get things um, distributed. Okay. We need it here locally, right? I got nothing because I don't drink coffee. I know. <laughs> All right. You were saying stuff and I interrupted you. No, it's fine. I was just talking about flattening the curve and all that, you know, because it needs to happen. In which case, I went ahead and made the word for this week flatten. Flatten. Flatten because we need to flatten things so that I can have a party again. Yeah, we need a party. But I really believe to flatten the curve further... Even after they say we can be released, we need to wait two weeks. Fine. I just, don't you feel like that would be the smart thing to do? Just because it's the smart thing doesn't mean it's the thing I want to do. I know. (laughs) Well, you can have your party. I'm just not coming. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I know. You're not going to be there. It's okay. All right. Uh, Let's see. Did I have anything else? I think I did. Yeah. Well, this wouldn't really work out for you because you've been really down for the count. I am really down for the count. Um, I I cannot have any. Well, let, let's say what it is before we start going into answering it. Well, uh, let, let's like let's make them guess. No, just <laughs> no, no, we're not going to do that. Okay. No, the question that I had because I thought we were going to have guests, but still working on trying to get this whole remote thing going, mm-hmm. uh, was basically what kinks have you been doing during this isolation? But that's the thing. A lot of people haven't been able to kink because they are either too far away from their play partners or if they are home, some of them have kids and they can't really kink it up with the kids around. True. And, uh, I've been healing, so I can't. Yeah. And, and in all fairness too, um, heckler, AKA Brad, um, (laughs) he is still working and out and about amongst the, the world. And because I'm, Considered immune compromised at the moment. Right. Um, we can't see each other. Right. So even if he wanted to come over and, you know, have me do chores or light chores. Light chores. Yeah. Um, he can't do that. Because, he can't even do that. Because you have to stay safe. Because I got to stay safe. And, and he's, he's, I'm assuming a good guy. He's like, yes, you stay safe. That's more important. Oh, yeah. I mean, when this whole thing went down, he was like, I'll come sit with you in the hospital. Well, let me tell you people, nobody is allowed in the hospital except for you. Except for patients. In the ER, my husband was able to go in with me, but he left his phone charger and his book in the car, thinking that he could run back out and grab it. Nope. Or run back out and grab food. No. Once you're in, and you if you leave, you can't come back in. So um, we just milked our phones the best we could and <laughs> made the batteries last. And um, the nurse actually foraged and brought him a bag lunch. So oh, he could eat. That's nice of it. It was amazingly nice. Um, my whole experience in the hospital was amazing. But for all the testing and stuff, I'm needle phobic. I had to go get labs by myself. I had to go get x-rays by myself. All these things that are a little bit traumatic for me. <laughs> oh, wow. I did it. I had to. I didn't have a choice. Congratulations. I had to walk up to surgery all by myself. I had to sit in, in pre-op all by myself. Lala, well done. Thanks. <laughs> Listeners, you should send us a message to tell Lala, well done. <laughs> 805-303-1173. It would, it would be interesting to hear if people are doing kinky things. Um, I know back in the day when we were... <sighs> online? Online. Or talking on the phone. Prior to like a community. Yeah. Um. I I had a person who would tell me to spank myself, which was the stupidest thing in the world for me. It did, it was not it didn't work for me. Right. Um but maybe it works for other people. Yeah. Well, the thing is a lot of people they get what they can mm-hmm. at this point. Mm-hmm. You know, they want to have somebody Oh. Oh, what? this is something that uh I found out from Bunner last night actually. What what? 
So you remember the toy I bought her, yes? Yes. So the Lush and Leah, all the Lovins toys, mm -hmm. Lovins started a worldwide orgy. What? They set it up so that anyone that has a Twitter account okay. could do a hashtag Lovins mm -hmm. or a hashtag uh, Lovins orgy, I believe. <laughs> and anybody who signed up for that, mm -hmm. to be part of that, mm -hmm. that would send a signal to their toy. To activate for anywhere between 0.5 to 5 seconds. Okay. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot, but when you have thousands of those hashtags going up at once, how long is that thing vibrating in you? Oh, so it was 5 seconds per hashtag? Per <gasps> hashtag. Oh. Yeah. So did Bunner do it? Yes. And how? so how long did it go? <laughs> oh. Did she tell you? Like. Yeah. So here's the thing. Um, yesterday I wasn't, uh, on the phone with her a lot cause I was like looking up a lot of stuff for this. Mm -hmm. And then I called her to talk to her for a bit and she, <laughs> she told me she had been playing on her Xbox in a, in a group. And she thought like, oh yeah, you know, I'll just be able to keep my, uh, my composure while I'm playing this game. No. <laughs> cause it kept going off. Cause it kept going and going and going. And, <laughs> oh, that's what it was. Uh, depending on which. Either you sent Lovins or Lovins Orgy, it did a different vibration style. Okay. So it would be just changing up over and over. <laughs> so it's not like one you can just like get used to this one happening. It's it goes, it goes. It, oh, that's a different one. It goes. <laughs> oh, that's a different one now. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, that's so fun. Man, I heard about that. I was like, oh. And then I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me get on and send a couple of uh, these hashtags out just to help. People enjoy themselves. Right. Well, good for you. Yeah, because it's one of those, I don't know who these people are, but obviously they want to have fun. Yeah. And that's one way that they can get their kink on is, hey, I like somebody else doing this to me. I don't like just doing it to myself. Right. So now you have thousands, possibly even millions oh of people gosh. participating and doing that to you at one time. That is crazy. Yeah. You know, and I'm so freaking horny and I can't do anything Aww. for four more weeks. Four more four weeks. Mo four more weeks. <sighs> That's okay. I'll survive it. It'll be fine. Mm. It'll be fine. <laughs> it's worth it. This is so worth it. Oh, oh yeah. No, no. I 100% believe you. And I was going to say, um, I've been feeling bad for myself and Bunner because both of us have been like. <sighs> what did you say? Who? Me and Bunner. Yeah. And who? No, I said both me and oh, Bunner. both of you. Yes, both me I and Bunner. I heard Pozo, and I was like, did you what? name your penis Pozo? Like, because <laughs> Pozo's been, that's what I heard. <laughs> wow. Hey, that's a thing now. No. Please, no. <laughs> canon, canon. No, I refuse. Pozo with a penis. <laughs> no. Bunner. Stop it. <laughs> Let's go to Disneyland with Pozo. <laughs> Are you going to pe Are you going, are you going to, to go to penis? <laughs> are, you going to, are you going to penis land? <laughs> penis land <laughs> with Pozo. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh. Lala, I've missed you. I've missed you too. <laughs> oh. Lala, hey, I think we've. Uh, I think we're getting to the end. Are we getting to the end? We are, except I have one more thing to say oh, about the oh. whole stupid pandemic. Okay. Not that it's stupid. It is stupid. It is stupid. <sighs> okay. Flatten the curve, right? Yes. I'm driving over here today. Mm-hmm. Guess what I saw? What did you see? A yard sale. A, a yard sale? A yard sale in someone's front yard. A big old yard sale. Wait, why? What? Uh, right? Like, I want to have a yard sale. I'm stacking stuff in my living room, which is not ideal. But I'm going to wait until it's over and everyone's healthy and the world is back to normal. But no, people. Whatever, whatever the new normal is. The new normal. Yeah. Someone's having a yard sale. People, it is not yard sale time. This is not. Yes, we understand the weather is getting warmer. It's time. You've been setting up. You've been ready for this. But this is not the time. And yeah, and I understand maybe they can't make rent or mortgage. I get it. Oh, yeah. that oh. Or food. But really, it's not a good idea. Well, here's the thing. In that particular instance, I understand why they're doing it. Yes. But still, it's if you can if you can go without doing that, if you can find a different way. The internet's a thing. Mm -hmm. You can sell stuff online. Mm -hmm. 
and mail it out. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, spreading germs to people and all that. You mail and it's good. Right. You'll be all right. Yeah. As long as you're not sneezing all over the stuff before you <laughs> package it up. You know what else um, I saw online today as I was just browsing, you know, Facebook and Fet and just kind of doing the morning thing. Okay. Um, I I love the bartering that's going on right now. The bartering? Like, Yeah. Hey, does someone have a, a pound of flour? I'll give you, <laughs> you know, whatever. What a mask, a homemade mask. Or, oh wow! Because these things are in hot commodity right now, and so like someone needed toilet paper, so everyone's like, "Oh, I'll bring you like if ten people can come and bring me a roll, a roll, just a single roll." Yep. You know, I'll you know bake you some cookies. Right. Or, I, it's just. The world is reaching out to each other in ways that normally does not happen. So I, I really like that. That's a positive twist on on all this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like um, I don't know if you uh, listened to any of the episodes while you were out. Um, every single one. Every single one. Uh huh. So you heard about uh, some good news on YouTube. Probably, but my you don't brain. Remember. You know, it's okay. Um. John Krasinski, the guy who plays Jim on The Office. Okay. He started a YouTube channel called Some Good News. Mm -hmm. Uh, I believe he's got three episodes up now. Okay. Um, The first one, um, at the end of the episode, the last story of the episode was talking about a girl who had just gone through her final chemotherapy right when the pandemic started. Uh Uh-huh. So, you know, people couldn't come by to wish her, you know, good luck and all that. So what they did was, on the drive back from the hospital, all her neighbors and friends got into their cars like a long... The side of the street. I did hear that. Yeah. And, you know, made it good times for her. Um, the second episode, there was a girl who was supposed to go see Hamilton with her family. Oh. And they had tickets. They were ready. And then the pandemic started. So right. they couldn't. Right. So John Krasinski reached out to the cast. And they actually sang the opening song via a Zoom meeting. Oh, that is awesome. Yes. It was it was great. I, I, you know, I would, I will show you that today before you leave. Okay, that was worth it. No, if it's gonna make me cry, I don't want to watch it. You'll be fine. <clears throat> no. Um, and then <laughs> the latest one, they was talking about how you have nurses and medical professionals that you know are putting so much in. So he, uh, some some medical fans in Boston, he talked to one of the players on the team, got them basically free free reign of the stadium for however long they were there. They, you know, they went out on the field. Toss the ball around a little Who bit. Who did? Uh, the, the nursing professionals. Oh, okay. Yeah. And on top of that, mm-hmm. um, got in contact with, I believe, AT&T. And AT&T, for people that are having this issue with the pandemic right now. Right. Any medical professionals, mm-hmm. they are willing to give them like three months free of mm-hmm. their service. Nice. So it's like, Wow. Um, I was watching Ellen the other day since we're talking about good, good, feel good stuff. Yeah. Um, I love Ellen. She's doing her show from home. So if you love Ellen, it's still funny. It's a little. It's mm. uh, like, I don't watch Ellen, but I watch um, Last Week Tonight mm-hmm. with John Oliver. Okay. And he was like, this is so strange <laughs> because he's still telling the jokes. The jokes themselves are still funny, but you don't have that audience exactly. interaction. Exactly. That's, that's what's so odd about it. Yeah. But anyway, she had a chef on. Um, he does a l- ton of charity work. Okay. Um, right now he's making millions of meals in New York for right. um, hospitals and people that can't afford it. But he also has restaurants. And so for one year after this pandemic is over, any nurse or doctor or medical field person mm-hmm. will get a free meal nice. at his restaurant for a whole year. Nice. Like any, if they want to go every day. They can go every day and get a free meal. Okay. I like that. It's fantastic. It is fantastic. It's so good. <laughs> uh, so if you guys have some good, feel good um, information that, that we haven't found yet, let us know and we'll, we'll share it on the next episode. Yeah. We'll sh- share it on our discord, on Facebook, on pretty much anywhere that you know, you can get a- in contact with us mm-hmm. everywhere. everywhere, everywhere. It's funny because I'm home, but I, I'm having a hard time actually getting on Discord and actually like getting in, on FET and Contacting communicating. People. And yeah, it's... You don't like people. We understand. I do. It's just I'm doing other things, yeah. which you would think I'd just be laying there playing on my phone. But oh, you... if I'm on my phone, it's Animal Crossing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, 
No, what happens with you is you don't sit still well. I don't. This is hard for me. Oh, yeah. This sitting here for an hour. <laughs> yeah. So what's, what Lala's saying is she no longer wants to do the podcast. She's done with all of us now because she wants to go do other things. I want to go hiking. <laughs> no. I want to ride a horse, but no. I can't ride a horse yet. No. Mm. Those are things you are not allowed to do. I know. Well, you know, we were going to go on that hike yesterday and my friend said, would riding a horse up here be better for you? And I was like, no. No. <laughs> no we no. want you to live. <laughs> So, all right, Lala. What did you enjoy yourself? I did. I missed you. It's it's weird to not have guests, but I think that we filled in the conversation really nicely because there's so we haven't seen each other, so we had lots to say. Yeah, there's a lot. Hell, a lot's going on too. There is a lot going on. Uh -huh. uh, but next week we are going to try. Well, let me pray. I'm going to try my best to get this whole remote interview stuff going. Okay, so we can have guests. Um, if 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 that doesn't work out. Um, just here's a call out to people out there. If you have been self isolating, like seriously, mm -hmm. and are are comfortable enough to come here and know that we have also been self isolating and are safe. Yeah, because um, both me and Lala are technically immunocompromised, so mm -hmm. we kind of have to. Kind of have to. Um, but if you've been following the same guidelines, I would be comfortable. Um, if if someone wanted to actually come here, if they were following, if they're willing. If they're willing and if they're following the protocols, yeah, don't lie, because this is our life that yes. <laughs> our life and our loved ones' lives. I, I like to live. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> just saying, um, reach out if you've been good and want to come and, and join us, because social interaction is amazing. God, I miss it. I miss it. <sighs> All right, Lala. All right, what are your final thoughts, Mister? <laughs> You're asking me first. Wow. I know. <laughs> uh, my final thoughts. I miss people. I miss interacting with people. And I can't wait for this whole pandemic thing to finally be over and us to get to whatever new normal we're going to have at that point. You? Um, this is my home away from home, this headquarters area. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's nostalgic almost to be here. But... <laughs> You keep looking at the calendar. You know the calendar hasn't been filled in, right? No, sorry. I'm just trying not to cry because... Oh. <laughs> it's just really weird to be here without the group. I understand. It's okay, Lala. So, anyway. Um, other than that, uh, no other final thoughts. Just be good to yourselves and other people. All right. Listeners, with that, we are out. Look, I let you even have at that time. <laughs> Sorry, gosh, that caught me off guard. <laughs> it's okay.